We are here on another Sunday for a little Zach stuff. We're gonna move the camera just a smidge. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope you guys are having a great day. Here, Ethan wants to see some bug outs. So we'll be getting that going. I wonder if it'll let you guys join in live early. There we go. Should dial you guys in now. What's up, Poncho? Hopefully you guys are dialed in early a little bit here with me. All right, what's up, KJ? Throw this knife out there. Oh, KJ, what's up, buddy? Welcome to Zach's Daily Carry Crew, my friend. KJ, I will tell you this. Please send me a direct message on Instagram or send me an email at zach.edc at gmail.com. Have a little swag pack that I want to send out to you. So appreciate that, man. It definitely helps. I'm going to get into that here in a little bit because your support on here is even going to be more, more needed. I'll explain why. But let's move these stickers so we can see them a little bit, huh? Man, sticker fail there a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. Now, I do want to give a huge shout out to all the members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew that are in here. You see their names in green with a little ZS next to their name. They also get uh, custom emojis on here. You get early access to content. And yes, this week the knife sale is posting. I will post it early for the members of Zach's Daily Carry Crew so you can see what's in there. But we got people like Eggs and Ham 22, Big Red ADC, Chris Wolf, Penny Ripple, James Straub. Uh, da, 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 Grateful Panic, Knife Reviews, Chris Wolf, KJ Pearson, Ethan Ruins, EDC, CK is here, what up? Newest member, KJ Pearson. We got Dane in the house. And I want to pronounce his last name, Gavrilowski. There we go. Got that one done. Um, let's see here. Who else is from the Zach's Daily Carry Crew in the house? Chat was kicking off early today. I appreciate that. What's up, Nick? Hashtag Zach Attack. Yeah, definitely. Right on, Dane. I'm glad I pronounced it right. Had to take a minute there and read through it. So I think I covered all of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Now I want to give a shout out to all the others who are here. Thank you guys so much. As you can see on the table, custom mini grip. This one was modified by Nick Maffei. Uh, today is one year since his passing, so just rest in peace to Nick. Uh, shout out. I know he's he's out watching out for all of us, and you know, blessings and love to his family. So wanted to share this one. This is one that I got from Nick, and uh, yeah, it'll always be in my collection. So put that one out there. Yes, there is a bandage. Uh, these are the Benchmade Band-Aids, as you can see. Sharp as hell is the motto, and... It is definitely one that saves you when you get cut. Uh, what's up, George French? Executive Milk, One Minute Knife Reviews, The Wallaby, Grom, Kloss, Quinton, Michael Morgan, Jason Brown, Joshua, Nick, Randy F, JJ, what's happening? Yes, definitely. And there's a there's a link right there. If you want to join Zach's Daily Carry Crew, you can get signed up. Um, it's a monthly subscription for early access to content, as well as supporting the channel because we got a little update for you guys. Chad and Lisa are here. What's up, Chad? What's up, Lisa? Knife Sergeant's here. Uncle Cow is here. Alcus is here. OSK is here. Poncho151 is here. Let's see. Yeah, what's up, Slick? What's up, Zenny? What's going on? You found the channel. Sorry I kept linking the wrong thing last night when you asked for it. Yeah, if I bleed on it, I own it, definitely. What's up, 3902? So I'll get into that in a second. I want to give you guys an update really quick on what's going on here with me and what I have done. What's up, M237? 
M237. So what I did was I had a goal for 2021. And that goal was to focus more on the channel, give more content, get things more organized, do more fun videos. You know, you guys love to see the, you know, destruction videos, trying to break a knife. Some of those that I have, you know, gets a lot of good reviews. So, oh, thanks. One minute knife review for the Band-Aid fun. Thanks, buddy. A little shout out to one minute knife reviews. Thank you so much. Yeah, and so what I did was, is uh, what's up, C. Lemansky? And on the list of my 2021 goals was to basically dedicate more time to the channel. I think you guys will love it. I'll love it. It'll be more fun. Uh, and so, yeah, so I went ahead and uh, took the opportunity to, you know, resign my position at my second job, which was part time. And thanks, JJ. I appreciate it. And oh, it's Dane's birthday. Nice. Well, Dane, happy birthday, my friend. I wish we could have you over, have a little, uh, you know, birthday birthday celebration for you. But we'll have to do it on here instead. So, anyways, yeah. So what's up, Bad Monkey? So I went ahead after 15 years of working two jobs. Um, you know, I kicked in on the second job. And I said, I want to, I want to make my channel, my second part-time job and just put more effort into it. So, oh, tomorrow's your birthday. Oh, cool. What's up, David Payne. We'll have to do a little, uh, birthday celebration for you tomorrow. What's up, Keith? Yeah. So it was a long time. I, you know, I was working 60, 70 plus hours every week and doing the channel. It was a lot. So your guys' support is so awesome. I've said that before, but it'll be that much more appreciated by me because that's what's going to have to support the channel is, you know, your guys' memberships, your guys' uh, you know, your help here in the community. So, I just want to say thank you. So, that's what's going on with me. That's the news and update for me this week. Um, I do want to know though what everybody's carrying on this Sunday. Thanks Uncle Cal. Yeah, shout out to Jason. I'm glad he's here. Um, you know, he joined in last night on uh, Big Red's channel, so that was so awesome. You know you've been, uh, you know, dealing with a lot of stuff with the family, so still sending out some prayers to you guys. So we got the Wee Banter. Oh, thanks, Eggs and Ham. I appreciate it, buddy. That is, thank you so much. Seriously, thank you. Um, the Wee Banter, Kershaw Mixtape, Rough Rider. SOCP folder, that's a big one, Penny, nice. Spyderco PM2, Protect Magic Whiskers, that's a nice one. Gail Bradley, oh, Keith, what's up, buddy? Uh, Zenny's got the Artisan Arroyo. Uh, one Minute's got the UTX85 Blue with Black Harbor, that's a good looking knife. Case Sodbuster, another good one. Uh, Executive Milk's here, what's up, buddy? Thanks, Michael, I appreciate it. Oh, Dane's got the Waypoint, Jason is here. Rocking with us. I uh, got the oh slicks. Got the Macarta Gemini from Kaiser. Nice buck one ten. Right on. That's pretty cool. Uh, Knife sergeant got the USA made blade ZT zero three zero eight walnut scales. Ooh nice M four bug out. What's up James? Another member of Zach's daily carry crew. Uh, congrats. Got the blade HQ benchmade bug out. Nice. KJ Pearson's got the 8010 Snakewood Holiday and the DLT exclusive Purple Man X2 Crew Wear. Doing good, doing good. Take a little sip of tea this morning. Thank you guys for the support last week. Got some tea again here this morning. Made a little run. Uh, Spider Coast Chaparral and Rafir Noble. It's a gorgeous knife. Randy's got the Atom. Nice. Native 5 today, very awesome, Didier. Lion Knives is here, what's up? Loving the Kaiser Shard. Okay, yeah, the DM Design Gin and the Red G10, that's a good one. Bad Monkey, nice. Manix M390. Grim, what's up, buddy? 
Carrying your tops, Bob and Mora Eldris. Kyle Curtis, Halo. Nice. Victor, welcome. He's got the smock. Gary Cruz is here. Full serrated pair of three Super Freak 20 CV bug out. Those are some good ones. Some real good ones. Uh, JJ's got the Waypoint. Hinder XM24. Wow. Dude, you guys got some good knives going out here today. Soon, David says, soon to be Sharp by Design Evo Typhoon. Speaking of that, I have my Skaha 2 that should be delivered tomorrow. So, be getting a sneak peek of that on my Instagram. In speaking of Instagram, Insta Knife Guys here. What's up? Nick Chismar is here. Welcome. It's running a little late. No, not at all, man. Thanks for joining. 3V bailout. Nice. Got the ZT0562 tie. Very nice choice. Modded Natrix and Gonzo FH41. I haven't seen that one yet. Well, you have to send me a picture of that one. All right, Jason, take care of your family, man. We'll see you here in a little bit. You got your PM2 on you. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, some really good taste in here, definitely. No knife yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I had I carried a small one on me today. And now I'm trying to think of what I'm going to carry later today. I got the uh, Spyderco Capara. I put that bright red backspacer on this one. This is the version two. I'm digging that one a whole bunch. Shout out to my buddy Steve for sending me that backspacer. It's pretty awesome. Uh, let's see here. Gary Cruz is here. Didier. Oh, yeah, definitely. Open L number seven with the buffalo handle. Nice cloth. Is this green mini grip a new one? No, this is, so this is a, this is a color you can get in the FRN. And then uh, Nick basically just did a really quick um, dye to it. So it's got a little bit of black texturing on it. And then did some work on the blade. And then put the uh, blue barrel spacers on it. And then did a little custom work on the clip as well. So that's one that just got modded. You can buy it in the in the uh, Benchmade Custom Knife Builder. So that's pretty cool stuff. Um, let's see here. 3902 Jones got the carbon fiber bug out. It's a nice choice. JJ Zhu has the Benchmade Mini Super Freak. Nice. Doing brunch with Zach, so I have my table knife. There you go. Rafir, nice. Be right back. Big Red says, be right back. All right, we'll get caught up. Uh, nice fast. Welcome. He's got the Centauri. Chris Wolf, welcome. Another member of Zach's Daily Carry Crew. Got the Sabenza, left-handed woot woot. Got the Bradford Guardian 4 coming. Nice. MBK Easy C version 1. That's a nice one, William. That's a very, very nice one. Uh, Kevin, welcome. He's got the ZT0095BW. No worries, Ethan. I appreciate you being here. Got to take care of your business. I understand that. Okay. Did I get caught up on it? Let me see. Thanks, Line Knives. Cruise Complex is here. We've got the ZT0640. I'm skimming through them, so hopefully I get caught up here. Last week, I was like going, I was just like running through them so fast. I was like, holy cow. I couldn't even keep them straight. Oh, so Big Red put a link there for the ZT0707. Uh, yeah, let me get that one out. Hold on. Got, it's a preemptive link there, but we'll talk about this one in a minute here as well. The ZT0707, a gorgeous knife. Oh, did you, you got the mini super freak on the way? Nice. Now I have to tell you a huge shout out to... 
Northwest Knives over in Idaho. So they did a little post on their Instagram and said, hey, we got a few of these going. All right, Jason, we'll just, uh, we'll say good things to you while you're driving. Gotta be, uh, gotta be safe. Yeah, I definitely need more likes on there. Click that like button. So yeah, so the cool part is, and I'll show you this in a second here. I built one that is similar to the one that they're releasing. Uh, courtesy of Rogue Blade Works, but this is similar to the one that just got released, the SHOT Show exclusive. Um, obviously, this one's an S30V. Uh, the one they released is an S90, but similar jade. Um, I'm excited to get one, so I ordered one from Northwest Knives and was lucky to get it. Um, it was a total fluke, so I had jumped in right after they had their, uh, their post, and they had sold out. Um, but luckily they had one because they placed a, they placed a, you know, one per order thing and somebody had ordered multiple. So it ended up kicking one back into stock. And so they were like, yeah, man, it's yours. Uh, you just got to pay for it. So made payment and it's on the way. So that's pretty cool. So that's pretty cool. It'd be good to try it out. I really want to see what's going on with uh, with their Jade compared to Rogue and what the difference is. So it'll be, ni it'll be nice to see. And then we'll compare it to the full size because they put out that full size Jade one a couple years back as an exclusive. So what's up, Deadpool? Oh, you're at work, not getting much of a good signal. Okay, no worries, no worries. Uh, yeah, Libertarian's here. What's up, buddy? Yeah, so this is a knife that, uh, hey, Northwoods, Northwoods Knife Guy, welcome. Yeah, buddy. Hey, Rodney Pearson is here. What's up, buddy? So this is one, It was a it's a green mini grip um, that was customized by Nick Maffei. Um, he passed about a year ago. Um, excellent member of the community. Um, did some knife mods to it, and it was one that I picked up on uh, one of his sales, so... Uh, it's just something that I'm going to cherish and keep in my collection, you know, but just want to share that today. And, you know, I shared it on my Instagram as well, but anyways, that is the update on that knife. If I could just read all the comments out loud, you'd appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. If I could, I totally would. They go by so fast. Um, I did not get an Evo Typhoon. No, uh huh? Not, I did not try to get one. Oh, you've never had a grip? Yeah, the Griptilians are nice. I really like them. You know, the, the Sheep's Foot one are, are pretty cool as well. You know, um, as a mini, the Sheep Foot ones work better for me. Um, but the Thumb Stud ones work just as fine. So, oh, nice. You got the 940-2001 in your pocket today. Very cool, Rodney. Yeah, we're going to get into that in just a minute as well. Um, there's somebody that uh, in the community who's selling a knife right now. And let me put mine on there so you can see what it is. But it's a really, really cool knife. Really, really good value. Let me put mine up there. So if you have any interest in all of picking up one of these, which is a titanium, it's the 940-2003. Or maybe BK-2003, I think. Blue hardware and barrel spacers. It's limited edition. These are sold out pretty much everywhere. You can pay a whole heck of a lot of more money. These went for, um, I think, right about four hundred when they came out. Um, that was that was a price. Period across the board, everywhere you went. Somebody is offering a brand new one in the box. Additionally. They have some other things that they're putting with it. And they sent me a picture so I could share it with you guys. So let me pull that picture up. And I'm I'm kind of like jealous because I almost want to get this because of the extras that are coming with it. But it's number, let's see here. So here's the picture of it. Hopefully you can see it but it comes with the gold and the silver Benchmade coin and a little 940 pin 
and the 20th anniversary 940 shop mat from Blade HQ. So that whole package right there, um, I think they're letting it go for like 425. So, so yeah, it's a full size Osborne. It's this one right here. This is my, this is mine that I have. Um, yeah, so that one's available. So if you have an interest in it, definitely send me a message uh, or send me an email. I'll, I'll put you guys in touch with the person that's selling it. Um, but yeah, it's available. So that's a screaming deal. I mean, even if you would just wanted the coins and everything else, you could buy that and you could sell all that other stuff for even more than what that knife is selling for right now. So anyway, so I just want to let you know that one's available. It's out there. It's not in my collection at all, but you know, the community, we want to take care of each other. So somebody's offering that one. So, all right, Didier, mail incoming. There you go. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a beautiful knife. So, I mean, if you haven't had one of these titanium ones, they just, they're rock solid, these titanium 940s. So, yeah, so let's go ahead. Um, I want to give you guys an update on a knife that came back. You know, if you guys saw my uh, GAC TAC, the Give a Knife, Take a Knife 2.0, you saw that I picked the APB from Benchmade. And this one, you know, it was it, all the, most all the knives in there were used. You know, and with this uh, assist mechanism in here, it's pretty cool. Um, and it takes a crazy edge. And this is the edge that Benchmade put on it. They, you know, went in for a spa day, got a new clip. I think they put some new screws on it as well. Um, you know, just to make it nice and, you know, but that's Life Sharp warranty for you right there. So got that one back. I'll be rocking it this week to work be carrying it with me. Yeah. The 154 CM just takes an awesome edge. So I'm going to try to buff that stain out, but you know, it's a user. So, you know, it's discontinued, but it's, it's crazy. So anyways, I just, man, their warranty is crazy. Awesome. And you know, this has a double, you know, push in plunger for releasing the blade. Yeah. Todd, the blue and black is, is awesome. What's up, Paul? Welcome. So anyway, so just another shout out to Life Sharp Warranty with Benchmade. That's where it's at. So yeah, exactly. You know, I'm glad I got some band-aids when I was there last time. But yeah, that that goes for uh yeah. Hey, what's up, Big Red? Yeah, that's all good. Hey, NLKG. No, Big Red, I appreciate it. Yeah, definitely. Big Red's killing it with it, the links and the help today. So thank you. Uh, yeah, you got to send your barrage in. Yeah, send it in. You know, and that's the, that's the cool part is you can literally say like, hey, it's not working right. You know, can you guys replace the spring? Uh, do a full Life Sharp warranty on it. And they literally go through everything in the knife. Like I didn't ask for new screws. You know, all I asked for was a new clip. And they put the new clip on, you know, got the cool Parkerized one. And uh you know, they sharpened it up, went through the whole thing, cleaned it. And with, you know, with the new um, sanitation things that they have in place, you know, the whole knife gets sanitized before anybody touches it. So they literally go through the whole thing, take it all apart, put all new mechanisms in it, whatever needs to be taken care of. So, hey, Decour's here. Welcome. Mike Cook is here. What's up? Yeah, so there's the Life Sharp warranty link from Big Red, man. Thanks for putting that up there. Uh, Zinni says, I had the original Adamas. Never got to try the warranty because they... Oh, what? Well, that's no good. That's not good that somebody stole it. No way. So Adam B says, do you know why the 940 2001 is lighter than 2003? Are they lighter? That, that much difference in, in weight? Let's find out here. Hold on a second. Uh, Hollywood, I see your question. Let me weigh this one up real quick. I have both of these real quick. I want to see that if there's a weight difference. The only thing I can, you know, if it's a, if it's a fact of, oh man, it's unstable. Here we go. So if this one's heavier, that's 3.43. Let me see on the other one here. And this is the other titanium. So 3.43. 
and 3.36. The only thing that's different uh, on them is the coating. So your blade's coated. Um, the overall scales are coated. So that's probably going to be the difference because all of your mechanisms are the same. Hey, hey, Winchester, what's up, buddy? Thanks for joining Zach's Daily Carry Crew, man. And Winchester, send me an email or a direct message on Instagram, um, zach.edc at gmail.com. Let's give a little shout out to Winchester. Thanks for joining the crew. Now you have access to some custom emojis in all your comments, whether it's one of my videos or on the live streams here. That's pretty cool. And also, I think I figured out, hey, Jock's Knife, what's up? I figured out two problems, and so hopefully we won't have any more interruptions on the live stream. And it was pretty funny. I did a live stream for members only and this last week, and I guess the feature is not 100% rolled out. So it works. It goes through like a – there's like a back doorway. You can get in and do a live stream for members only. And uh, – oh, thanks, Zenny. Thanks. And it's one of those things where it wasn't, it wasn't approved for my channel yet. And so it, I, it let me stream for like 40 minutes and then it booted us off. So, oh, it's all good, man. Winchester, I'm going to send it out to you anyway. So just shoot me your address and we'll get it out to you. I have a, a huge amount of shipping going out today. So huge amount. And what's up, Sue Chicken? A, an FYI, there's a giveaway at the end of today's live stream that I'm going to do. But look for a live stream like tomorrow night or Tuesday night because... We have a prize that went unclaimed for the 7,500 giveaway. Woo! Mind blown. So, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So, what I'm going to do in classic fashion, how I've done before, is whoever joins me on that live stream, and I'll do, I'll post an announcement in the community page so you guys will see it. Um, but whoever's live, we're going to do a giveaway like we do today. And we're going to do a live and give it away to whoever's here live. So we're doing it live. That's how I like to do those giveaways. When somebody doesn't claim it, I want to give it to people that are here live, joining in on the fun. So it's pretty cool. Oh, and I forgot to mention to you, just so all the winners know, um, the Zebra F701 pin also goes with every prize package. So it's good stuff. Good stuff. Now, uh, we had a question. Oh, you're welcome, Jason. You're welcome, buddy. You know, if we and if we could give you a big hug, you know we would. So, what's up, F4 Nunez? What's going on? Welcome. We had a question from our friend here. Um, man, is it that far back? I think it is. Hollywood. Hollywood Tactical. What's up, buddy? He says, what's your opinion on the old Mini Presidio 2 and 440C? Now... I like the, what's up, Paul? I like, nice slicers, what's up? I like the old mini Presidio 2s with the aluminum handles. I dig them. They're, st they're strong, they're sturdy. I think the 440C takes a really nice edge. Um, you know, the newer ones are an S30V. These have the CF Elite scales. Makes it really lighter. Some people don't like the feel. You know, more of a griptilian, uh, you know, feel to it. What's up, Scott Bond? Nice slicers. But you can kind of hear that's that kind of plastic feel that you get on, you know, most of their FRN stuff. You know, those kind of things. And the aluminum to me is just like so solid. Um, but yeah, the 440 is nice. And if you can get one, they're great to have. You know, uh, one of the other things is they still should be under life sharp warranty as well. So, you know, if you have a problem with it, you can always send it into them. So that's to me, one of those things that if you like the aluminum handles, yeah, I saw JT's downsizing collection. I was so bummed because I missed that initial launch and he had one of those blue nine sixties, the blue nine sixty Osborne's. And I was like, Oh man, and he sold it for a loss, too. And I was like, oh, bummer, buddy. But the aluminum, yeah, Rodney, the aluminum's, or hey, what's up, Ryan Pearson? What's going on, buddy? Ryan Pearson in the house, custom knife maker. Welcome, welcome. 
But yeah, the aluminum is heavier, but it has, you know, a solid feel to it. So, oh, you bought his Anthem, did you? Oh, man, that is a fantastic knife. I love that knife. I hope we see more of them this year. So, no, Life Sharp is not extra. It comes with every Benchmade knife. Well, as long as you buy it from, you know, as long as it's a, a reputable, you know, purchase. Now, if you trust the person you're buying it from, if you buy it from a dealer, you buy it from Benchmade, that Life Sharp warranty comes with all of them. Um, you know, the, the problem you run into is if you end up getting something off like a, you know, an auction website or something, it ends up being a fake and you send it in, then they're, they're going to keep it. They're going to destroy it. Um, they're not going to send it back. So that's one of those things that, you know, if you really look for it, that's one of those things. So, hey, Todd, I appreciate it, buddy. Thanks for joining. Yeah, I appreciate you guys supporting, man. I definitely do. Hey, no mojos here. What's up, man? Yeah, so I put the MXG gear clip on here. Yeah, exactly. Hashtag clone smash. And that's the thing, like, the clones are getting so good. Um, but there's lots of things and JT is, you know, a solid dude. So I trust everything. What's up, Mariana? Welcome. But that's one of those things where, man, you got, you got an Anthem. That's sweet. So yeah, that's the hard part is, you know, JJ is, you know, I mean, if you could think about, you know, if you ran, you know, a lot of warranty program, what's up, Tom? Welcome. That's one of those things where it's like, you know, if you get a clone in, it's like, you you know, you can't send it back, you know, because then people are going to be like, oh, I got it back from Benchmade. It's legit, you know. So, yeah, save your receipts, all that good stuff. So, that's one of those that, you know, we'll have to do a video on like, you know, basically, you know, knife, knife warranties and those kind of things. Because, you know, I've had a few knives recently that I've had to reach out to the manufacturers on and... I've had great experiences with some and some not at all. So now this is the one that, that Big Red wanted to show um, or wanted me to show. And it's he knew I bought this one because this came from our pass around group. And this is the ZT0707. Super, super thin. And it's one of those that it's like, I, I was really impressed with it. And as Big Red would say, very pokey stabby. And yeah, exactly, George. <laughs> exactly. And so, yeah, there, there's a link right there. But he saw I bought this one because, you know, he liked it. He knew I liked it. And um, this came from River's Edge Cutlery. Now, River's Edge Cutlery sent it out to our pass around group. And they also included one of these really cool um, leather coasters from, from that the, they sell. I think they sell them on their site. And it came from a company. Here, I got the paper right here. Hold on. Just want to show you which one. And I think it's I think it's B Weiss or B Weiss Leather Co. Leather Company. Yeah, exactly. So that's one of those. Oh, Northwoods. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I appreciate you stopping by. You man, your support's awesome. Definitely check in later. Definitely check in later, man. I appreciate that. So this is one of those knives that, you know, very few ZTs make it into my collection. I did the review on this one. And then River's Edge Cutlery said, hey, you know what? One of those things is um, we're going we're gonna to let somebody purchase this at a discount. Somebody that did the review. So that was really cool of them. So well, we basically were able to purchase it at cost. And there's only one of them. So I snatched it up and said, yeah, I'd like to buy that one because as a ZT, it's one of the few that I liked. So the, this came in, so I'm gonna be carrying this one. I do need to put a little bit of an edge on it. I'm gonna try to strop it because right now it just kind of rubs through the fingernail. So just gotta get that little bit of hone on there. But yeah, very cool of River's Edge Cutlery to offer that to us. Really, really cool of them. So. Now, what did we have come in and what caused this Benchmade Band-Aid to be used? That's the cool part. What's up, Backpack B's in the house? What's going on? A little shout out to Backpack B. Now, this one is a cool knife that when I saw it online, 
I thought it was going to be like griptilian size. But it's more kind of like mini griptilian size. Now, this is the cause of the Benchmade Band-Aid. So we did a really cool deal yesterday where, super snappy by the way, this is the Civivi Trailblazer. Uh, of course, Blue G10. Uh, I picked this one up from Slicey Dicey. He did a knife sale. Um, so I picked this one up from him. He sent it out with a couple stickers. So I'm going to throw some, you know, one of his stickers in today's giveaway pack as well. Very, very sharp. Now what I did, kind of, you know, not, not fully utilizing my entire brain. We were doing a Zoom yesterday, um, kind of a Zoom chat with Big Red um, and a few other channels, Therapeutic Edge, Women Carry Knives. And I want to say Big Red helped me with the others over there. Yourself. Was it Knives Fast and Mild Manner at EDC? Did I get it right? So those are the ones that we did. But right when we started, I just unboxed this. And I was like, oh, okay, mini griptilian size, but it kind of fits in the hand. And I was like, oh, yeah, safety first. Well, what I was doing is I was like, oh, it's got a half stop, right? So I figured half stop, I'll just push down with my thumb. So I pushed down with my thumb and it went, Funk, right into my index finger. Yeah, mild manner, nice, fast. Okay, so I got it right. So if you can imagine, obviously my hand was up a little further. It just went right into my <laughs> index finger, just like that. Yeah, nice, fast is there too. Yeah, I, I thought I got your guys' channels right, but I just want to double check. So anyways, I will say, still sharp. Has a great edge on it. <laughs> You'll see a review on this one coming up. But overall... One of those things where you're just like not thinking because you're jumping on something else. So it's a good reminder, safety first, uh, especially when you don't know the knife, you don't know how far that half stop's gonna travel. But this half stop, super, super strong. So, I mean, it's like super strong. Now the last half of it is lighter. So that last half though, whew. Yeah, safety not guaranteed. Did Tim jump in here? Oh, we got the ore doc here. What's up? What's going on? Yeah, so anyways, so that's one of those things where it's pretty funny, pretty cool. Hey, Monster 38's here. Monster Racing, what's going on? So anyways, cool knife, deep carry. Um, you know, they countersunk the screws into the, into the clip, so that's kind of cool. We will see it on here. Yeah, exactly right, KJ. Never assume. Beautiful stone wash. I like the bolsters, the blue G10. You know, it all to me it all works. It's a great package. So no forward finger toy at all. But you know, for me it fits well. And you're not gonna I think the reason they made this one so strong. What's up, James Martinez? Welcome. The reason they made this so strong is because some of the others, if you put a little pressure, it fires down. So I think they made it really strong at the top, which I like that. Um, oh, Chicago 23's here. You got 12 inches of snow? Holy cow. Um, hey, Big Red, thanks, buddy, for the Band-Aid fun. Yeah, but you're not going to be able to fire this out, um, you know, Spidey flicking it or anything, so it's going to be a two-handed opener on these. But I'm excited to use it. So you'll see this one as well this week, and then we'll do a review on it. So what's up, Anthony? Hey, Paper Tiger, what's going on? Yeah, definitely. Civivi made it like that for sure. And I'm, and I'm happy for that. You know, I'm happy they made a strong, you know, knife. And I don't know if this one based on blade size would be legal over in like the UK and stuff, but might be a good option for over there. So yeah, Monster 38 still has a GoFundMe going. So definitely I'll, uh, I'll try to grab a link for that and toss it up there. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Anthony. That's no good. Well, uh, we'll give our prayers and, and stuff out to James for sure. Mm. Uh, ben, not yet. Not yet. Um, I think they did on the D10. They used something pretty strong. Maybe like a, a small truck one or something, definitely. All right, James, definitely, buddy. Junior Miz, what's up? What's going on? Yeah, so anyways, so I will say, 
strong detent. <laughs> it passed the detent, and the half stop saved the rest of my fingers. So, shout out to Sabivi on that one, for sure. Now let's put this one up here. Put this one up here off to the side, maybe. Get a little visual love on it. I'm dig. I dig the frame lock though on that, and all that all that titanium and stuff right there. It's got a little bit of milling for some grip. Oh. Super crazy awesome. So, um, let's see. What else we want to cover today? Let's go ahead and look at something else that came in from the Pass Around group. And this is kind of an interesting one. And I'm wondering... Oh, man. Is this for me? No way. Big red. Is this for me, buddy? This is a this is gonna be the Wii Moat. You guys have seen the moat. Came through the pass around group. And I think Big Red sent something in here for me, but I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look at this one. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Oh man. Oh, I gotta show you this first. Big Red sent this in to me, and it's for my flag coin holder. It's a navy coin. Check this out. Give it a second so you can <clears throat> read it. Getting choked up here. Strategic systems programs from the sea. And look at the back. Look at this, you guys. How oh, beautiful. <laughs> no, KJ, it's not. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. That's where you work? Oh, man. I got to put this right front and center. Man, that's, thank you so much, man. Big Red, that's awesome, man. Thank you. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, we're going to put that up here so we can see it. Okay, where were we? <laughs> oh. Okay, we're talking about the Wii Moat. Now this is the bronze stone wash Wii Moat. A nice small knife. Little frame lock. I like kind of the uh, kind of brass colored bronzed hardware too. <laughs> DDA. Yeah. Get a get a picture of that. Um I like it. You know, it's one of those things where some of these smaller knives, you know, I'm only getting three fingers on this. My fourth one kind of kicks up near the end. But yeah. Oh, you just got the blue one? Yeah, Mr. McKenzie. Yeah, I just opened this up. And you know, I like the small feel and that big belly blade, triple B, big belly blade. I like that. Compact design. Huh, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's look, little tiny small flipper tab, a little jimping. It's kind of tucked in there too. So let's see, uh, let's see how it compares to that mini grip. Okay, so there's a difference on it. Just a little smaller than the mini grip. But yeah, just a beautiful little knife. Holy cow. I like that. And it looks like uh, we got the blade steel mark there too. Is it S30? Okay. Yeah, nice. Okay. Well, we'll have to, we'll have to definitely make sure the... Review gets going on that one too. I like that little one. There's another little one from Wii that I have that'll that'll go nicely comparing that one. But I like the bronze. What's up, Evil E? Emma, what's going on? You need a Wiimote constantly. My wife leaves Twilight on the TV all the time. <laughs> uh, that's pretty funny.
That's good. Yeah, and I don't know if you guys have seen, um, we don't have to, we don't, you know, let's see here. We got this, we got this wallet from Andar, and this is the Apollo. And I just posted a review on the Ranger. And I got the Ranger going right now. Got the Ranger going. And I'm digging it. And these little pull tabs are pretty awesome. So look for a giveaway. I'm going to do a giveaway on the Apollo as soon as I post a review for that one. It'll probably be next week. But yeah, it's it's a nice little leather leather uh, wallet. So it's I'm I've been carrying it the last two days. So wow, man, thank you so much, Big Red. That's an awesome awesome coin. Okay, so let's see what else we're looking at. Um, do we have anything else? We have one from Artisan Cutlery. Is there a Power Ranger called Zach? I don't know. I didn't see the Power Rangers. <laughs> so now we have a good friend who made a knife called the Arkeo. And, oh, you've been carrying it for a couple months? Oh, nice, Jeremy. Hey, welcome, man. And really, now I'm going to have to look for a Power Ranger. So we have a non-locking Arkeo from Artisan Cutlery. Got some cool pivot designs. I know some of you don't like the big pivots, but I like the pivot, you know, collar and, and color match to the pocket clip. And this is a non-locking. Nice. We got a hundred people. So a little tiny bit of detent, as you can hear. Hey, welcome back, Michael. Oh, thanks, Big Red. So a little tiny bit of, of you know, detent. But the cool part is, it's got a pin hole and it comes with a pin. So you can actually put that pin in there. And now you got a locking blade or however you may want to call it in certain countries or certain States, but pretty cool. And this one has a little bit of a forward finger choil with that flipper. So you don't have to worry about it coming down and doing a sharpness test on your index finger. Oh, you have number two of five made? Oh, that's a sweet one. So yeah, this one got sent in from the pass around group, so we'll be checking this one out as well. But yeah, I wanted to I wanted to see how this worked because I know um, Dylan Mallory, our buddy who designed this one, talked about how you can, you know, push push this down with your index finger and then kind of loop your other fingers in through here. Or wrap it around one of your fingers or whatnot. So but pretty cool overall. So I dig that one. That one's pretty nice. Very cool concept and design. And he's got some, I don't know if you follow him on Instagram or on, uh, or Artisan Cutlery, but they announced some new stuff. He's making some smaller versions of uh, one of his knives for sure this year. And it's looking pretty sweet. So hopefully they do that with a couple others. So overkill for a small knife. Yeah, I don't know. And I don't know if it was designed to go in certain, you know, yeah, exactly, Paper Tiger, get around certain rules. Artisan Irion, Arian. I think that's the one they just showed off, right, George? Yeah, fixed blade as well, definitely. That's so awesome. Yeah, I, I like the RKO I have, and so I'll definitely show that one on there. But yeah, that small Centros is beautiful looking. So beautiful. I can't wait for that one. Make a, You want a larger version of the RKO? Or the RKO? I can see that. You know, I mean, it's a pretty big version as well. You know, almost as big as the, uh, the ZT0707 is going. Dirk Pinkerton has some cool ones. Yeah. Two with concept. I love it. Dylan swipe games, you know, it's, it's holding in there. I think we still need some swipe right for Dylan, but what's up, John R. Welcome. Yeah, definitely. What's up, Gordon? How's it going? 
for sure. Okay. Now, there's one other thing I want to share with you guys. I'm probably going to have to clear the knives off the table. Safety first, um, even more so. But let me put this back over here to make sure we don't uh, disrupt the safety the safety game. But yeah, that, that moat, man. Oof. All bronzed out. Oof. Oh, they hooked you up with customer service? Oh, nice. That's good to hear. Hey, what's up, Mark Herrera? Welcome, buddy. Safety third. <laughs> oh, your washing machine tried to flood your kitchen? That's not fun. I'm sorry. Yeah, hey, I'm glad. One minute knife reviews. If I can, if I can you know, sacrifice some some stuff to, you know, share my safety, then hey, we're all for it. So now this one's going to be a little bit bigger. I hope. What's up, Last Ranger? What's going on? I hope we can show the whole thing on here, but we may have to use a different, uh, definitely a different one for the review. But we got in a, a vault case and you saw that, hopefully saw they restocked some of their things. Um, I think I'm gonna move this stuff out of the way. That beautiful coin too, Big Red, thank you. Move some of this stuff out of the way. But this is the vault case. Now this is their, what they call secure. So it's got a little lock and combination here. You know, can't open the zippers, those kind of things. Works good for travel. It's got a TSA certified lock on it. Um, you can set your own combo. This is the kind of faux carbon fiber one. Um, they have a really cool kind of like PVC stitched handle here, you know, so the branding is pretty on point. Um, they do come with a carrying case, but the cool part is they have like a parts tray up here. So if you wanted to like take your knife apart, you know, you're out hanging with some friends or you're over to, you know, family or friend's house or at work and you want to take something apart, because we all do, we all do, you know, you, we've all done that. Then this is one of those that you could get. Um, this one I think I pay like sixty dollars for, plus shipping. They also have the the standard case, the standard vault case, and I think they have it on sale right now for like thirty five ninety nine. So it's a good deal. Yeah. So uh, there's a link right there from Big Red. You can go check out vaultcase.co, and th like I said, this one was I think sixty, like fifty nine ninety nine, the secure one. And the cool part, why I got the secure one. I mean, the lock's cool because it kind of snaps the zippers in here. So you can see how it comes undone. It, the pins kind of go and just release and let the zippers free. But the really cool part while I got it is this has an extra layer between the, the folds. I guess if that's what you want to call it. But it's got an extra layer in here showing or, or allowing a little extra protection. So it's got the TSA lock, so that's cool. It's got the shoulder strap if you want to, you know, tote this around. But it's got so you it's got all these different panels in here. But the cool part is like you can put all sorts of things in here. And these actually come out. They're vel velcroed in, but these these panels come out and then it's got some netting. So you can put knives, pens, all sorts of stuff in there. And then it's got this extra flap so you can put even more stuff on here. But this side's all kind of just a protective material. And I like that because then you're not putting knives against knives, those kind of things. And then you on this side, it's got another protective side. Get it opened up here. Between the other ones. And then it's got two more panels here that Velcro down to the back that you can put more knives, gear, whatever on. And so it's kind of cool because, of course, you know, the first couple things I need to do Let's put some patches on there, you know, kind of make it my own. So then when you open this up, you're like, okay, this is Zach's, you know, this is his, you're going to know what's up with it. So, but yeah, I like that stickers or not stickers. Um, um, yeah, it'll be long enough for fountain pens. I believe so. Cause this is going to measure, let's see here, the internal measurements 
on these panels. So I like the updates and designs, and that's why I got it. You know, if they offered the standard one with these, these inserts that are already in here, then I probably would have got the standard one, and that's probably why they did it. Um, but each panel is about six and a half inches long. And then wide, width-wise, you're looking at about 10 inches wide. So yeah, so anyway, so yeah, and it's, it's easy to pop. You can pop these zippers. It's not made for like super heavy duty security stuff. Um, you know, it's, it's basic combination lock. You could definitely pry those open, those kind of things. It's not made for anything super secure, but you know, prying eyes, so to speak. I like it. So I dig this. I think it'll, I think it'll go good. I'm going to do a little review on it, but once it came available, I, I purchased one cause I was like, I don't have one. Um, and I like the original design, but I like the idea they included those extra, you know, kind of spacer panels between them. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and that's the, that's the thing you have to worry about. Like, you know, I, the question that I'm going to probably answer on this review is one of the things I would say is, is, uh, you know, would, would I pack this if I go to like shot show, would I pack this full of things and take it with me or would I use something else? That would be my question. I'll answer. So, but anyways, yeah, pretty cool stuff. I think it'll hold a lot of, a lot of different knives, a lot of different pens, all sorts of things, especially when you're going to go, you know, we got to get ready. We got to get ramped up because shows are coming back. You know, we're going to see those things again. So, but anyways, super, super crazy, awesome stuff. I'm glad they brought it back out. Hopefully it, uh, it's something you guys enjoy and do you guys have one, you know, that's my question. And there's the vault case link right there again. Yeah, and that's, and that's the thing, you know, do you check this with your other luggage, you know? Casey Joe says, do I have anything by Lynch Northwest Review? Yeah, so I have a version three pry bar. And then um, he did give me exclusive access to order uh, in without knocking. So I have one of those that's on the way. So that'll be good to, to bring up on the channel. So the in without knockings are kind of cool. And I, I allowed, I, uh, you know, he's got a couple different options on it. And cause I, I missed like the first few drops. And so I, I just reached out and said, Hey, here's, here's what's going on. I'd love to get this one, you know, bring it to work. I'd love to see, you know, what's going on. Then he's like, well, if you want to buy one, He's like, I'll, uh, I'll shoot you a link and then you can just pick your finish. And so I kind of did dealer's choice. So I let uh, Casey do his own. So that'll be fun. That'll be fun. That's coming up. So yeah, it'll be a good one, Casey. Yeah, I like that. Oh, really? I didn't know. See, that's the thing. Like I've, I've received several notices from TSA, you know, when I've shipped stuff and it's like, you get things in there and it's like, Hey, you know, you notice like your zippers are all out of place and those kind of things. And it's like, Hey, your bag got, your bag got checked, you know? Um, so that's one of those things that I've noticed before, but yeah, that's good. It's good. So I don't think I have anything else new that's come in yet to share with you guys. I got a lot of stuff that I'm doing reviews on and things that are going out shipping wise today. Um, and I'm excited. I mean, it's a bummer that somebody didn't claim their prize, but I'm excited that I get to share that with you again here this week. But I like that vault case because it's, it's a little different than any of the soft knife roll bags that you have, which, you know, I've, I've packed a bag before a knife roll bag and it's, it's done good, but Oh yeah. Big red has lots of shipping to do as well. Yeah. And that's the thing. Like I saved it all up. I literally have uh, you know, one shift left on my second job and it's going to free up a lot of time for me. So I'm excited to share more things with you guys and get some better content out there that you guys enjoy. Cause I know you guys enjoy what we already have, but just kind of taking it next level and being able to do some more things outdoors uh, with other people. So I got a few things lined up with a couple channels and I'll be going from that. So have a vid on pens on YouTube. Nice. 
Yeah, I got a pen video coming up too. It's pretty cool. Reading some comments here. Yep, I'll do that, Hollywood. Yeah, you just pay attention to the community tab. You'll see when the next live stream is. And I would encourage you to uh, jump in on the live stream. So I think it'll be fun. And we'll go from there. <sighs> okay. Well, what's up, Shane? Welcome. Yeah, that coin's beautiful. Where is my glass? It is It is a little too early today, I think, there, Tom. But not forgotten. I have this right here. Um, have some... <laughs> have to be uh you know a little more sensitive about that for the rest of the day um it's only like one o'clock here on the west coast so i still got to go to the post office and do some driving and you know gotta be i gotta be mindful when i ship you know i i just might like mix up things and those kind of things yeah exactly big red i had to get my tea this morning my cinnamon spice tea so and they have a new app out they have a new rewards app so if you actually are on like kind of the West Coast or, uh, you know, have these in your neighborhood. They have a new uh, like rewards app. So I'm excited for that. But that's just me being me. You know, all that fun stuff. It's five o'clock somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Like Ray's thing. So, and also there'll be a, uh, I didn't get the cool live stream chat like uh like big red had with everyday city carry but the day before i did mine and it was recorded so there'll be one of those coming up where where ray and i get into some really good conversations i'll, I'll repost that on uh, the channel here and then also uh in my instagram so oh okay kj I, I can put i can put some tea in your uh in your shipment you're good with it okay nice yeah, that's Knife Sergeant. That's why I switched to T. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, Planes Crafter. Good to see you, man. We're going to be uh, ramping up for a giveaway, so I just want to let you know. Um, <laughs> Tom said the same thing. But yeah, so let's go ahead and let's get some things out to do a giveaway. So let's go ahead. We're going to, of course, do a swag pack. And we're going to have some uh, big red EDC in there. Some Zach stuff stickers, the do something kind for someone holographic sticker, and of course, the Benchmade. Why do I always say Benchmade? Zach stuff PVC patch. I always say that for some reason. I'm I'm I guess I'm just forecasting that I hope they put out new patches here soon, and new stickers. That's the goal. Um, but I wanted to give away. What's up, knife dude? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Alex, what's going on, buddy? Welcome here. Oh, you like the cinnamon? Yeah, it's good stuff. So, and honestly, if you really, really dig it and like it, <laughs> thanks, Randy. I have, um, I purchased some of the stuff that they sell at the, the coffee shop here from Harney and Sons, H-A-R-N-E-Y and Sons, and it's their cinnamon spice tea. So you can buy it in like individual or you can buy a you know a container of 50 of them or whatever so you're not an oatmeal guy though okay so does anybody know tale of knives yeah been <laughs> subsidiary of zach stuff wouldn't that be awesome george one day one day maybe i'll maybe i'll be able to get to design my own 940 you know maybe they'll maybe they'll allow me to design my 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 dream 940 with some blue and fun stuff so Tale of Knives makes leather goods. And one of the things that they have is this little pocket EDC caddy. Now you can put all sorts of different stuff in here. I have not put a knife or anything in here because I want the person to enjoy this. Now this can, this can be used for a flashlight. This can be used for whatever you want to clip in there. It's got a good, decent sized opening. And then they have an, elect, uh, uh, an elastic little um, stitched on that you can throw a pin on there. Now, the bummer part is this. I have an F701 pin that I'm going to give away today with this. But it's probably a little too big 
for that little that little you know elastic piece because I don't have any. I'm waiting for my polka pens to come in, so I was gonna throw one of those in there. Those fit great, but we'll just have to. I'm gonna give away the F701. You know, it will fit in there, as you can see. But it's one of those things where it's like, well, some people might like something else. But the F701, all steel. This will this will be a nice giveaway with that as well. Um, oh, grateful grateful panics out. All right, buddy. Oh, you'll be back. Okay. All right, man. We'll see you. In, we'll see you shortly. Yeah, the the Zebra F seven hundred one is awesome. What's up, Born on Blades? Welcome. Yeah, the F three hundred one should be a lot. I mean, this will fit in there, but it's just like. I want to give away a pen with it as well because that's just the right thing to do. Um, but Nerve 102 says, my dream 940 be a maximum blade, black carbon fiber, glow in the dark handles, glow in the dark spacers. That'd be pretty sick. What's up, Joseph? Welcome. Yeah, so Tail of Knives makes some awesome belt slips, other leather goods. This one's one of their pocket caddies. Um, it's kind of their brown leather. And let's see here. So let's give away that. Oh, we need something else to give away with it. How about a little something you can either put in your pocket or if you want, you could slide it in that little slip. This is brand new. Coming to us from our friends at CRKT, the LCK. It's a fantastic little knife. A lot of pokey stabby as well. Beautiful. So let's give that one away too. So this will be the giveaway for today. I'm sorry the coin is a, a wonderful gift from my friend Big Red. Thank you so much, buddy. That's awesome. That is going on the, the flag coin holder, definitely. So that'll be the stuff we'll give away. Standard rules will apply. Yes, hashtag pokey stabby. Standard rules will apply, and that is one guess only. And let's we'll wait till we see a start from Big Red. So hold on a second. And Ethan, yes, you have a giveaway coming up as well. Your hundred uh, giveaway, hundred subscriber giveaway. Congratulations. And so standard rules apply. One guess only. Triple E's here. What's up, Triple E? Jake's here. What's up, Jake? David Iverson, what's up? I Love Knives is here. So, we will choose one number, and I'll put that up here in a minute. And the spread is going to be between... Let's see. What's up, John? How about... I'm trying to think in my mind I'm like my mind um how about between one and 155 and so don't guess yet we're gonna wait till we see a start from big red um if there is a tie of people who either get the right number or who are the closest because it's closest without going over. So your number spread is going to be between one and 155. And let me put the paper out there. And then once I put the paper out there, so yeah, Gary, the, the spread is between one and 155. Big Red just put the rules up there as well. Closest without going over. We're going to tuck this under the LCK back here. And as soon as you see a start from Big Red, you can go ahead and start with one guess only, just your one guess. Knife Sergeant has his 1K giveaway coming up as well. You'll be announcing them when you hit 900. Nice, nice. Very cool. Very awesome, very awesome. Got a bunch of people jumping in there. Nice, nice. I love it, I love it. Big Red, it's not flagging very many today. Usually it flags a bunch of them for being held. So, so far, so good. 
Huge shout out to Ryan Pearson with Pearson Custom Knives. If you haven't checked it out, go check out his Instagram. If you want to, if you want to get something like awesome fixed blade made and get some custom work on it, custom scales, anything like that, handles, talk to that guy. He'll he'll dial you in, man. Solid work. Got some good stuff going. Let me zip back through here and see if we got anything that's close. We got some close ones for sure. Excuse me. Dan Brock's here. Live Gaming One Two Threes here. Gino V's here. Adam B. Let's see if we got anybody there that's that's new. Thank you very much. And like I said, your guys' support's awesome. You know, the, the knife community support's amazing. Um, shout out to the new members today who joined. Thank you very much. That support's going to be fantastic. Um, the Last Ranger, I got my patches made. I can send you the information. Um, if you send me a, a message, a DM on Instagram or an email, I can send you the link to that person. I have some new patches being made here in the U.S. from a company in uh, Central Oregon. So that's kind of cool. That's the DSKFS patches. Those are going to be pretty sweet. So I hope you guys like them when they show up. I will include those on my giveaways moving forward. Um, and they will be available to purchase. So, but either, either way, I, I don't sell my patches for like 20 bucks. So I usually sell them for 10 and it costs me 450 to ship them. And so you guys get the clue. I think each patch costs like $2.50 anyways. So. <laughs> not much, not much margin in those when you go that route, but you know, I'm doing it for the community. I'm not doing it to, you know, I'm just, I, I would love the opportunity to have the, the money from the patches pay for another run of patches. So, all right. Yeah. You sent me an email. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'll let you know. Definitely. Yeah. I'll look through that stuff this afternoon. All right. What's up, Josh Berman. So did everybody get their guess in? Let's see here. Oh, thanks, Rodney. Yeah, so um, hopefully everybody got their guess in. We'll give it another uh, 30 seconds here. Just make sure everybody gets caught up. Joseph just got his guess in. Da -da -da. A little uh, Hollywood. Come on now, buddy. <laughs> Throwing out some... Some wild, uh, some wild numbers there that are not in the spread. Too funny. Yeah, hit that like button. We're almost at 100 likes. That's awesome. Oh, they had the, they must have found some, huh? That's crazy. Nice. Fast Pro Shops. Um, this is not the new assisted one. This is the one Mr. McKenzie from, um, yeah, it's the exclusive here. I'll show you the box. So that's this one. Hey, Deborah, you're a little too high on your guess there. The spread is between one and 155. So if you want to re-guess, definitely do that. Make sure you guys get your guesses in. It's between one and 155. So AJ and Deborah, you want to throw a different guess in there? There we go. Awesome. Okay. Am I almost caught up? I think I'm almost caught up. Yeah, the pen is assisted. It's thumb assisted. Thanks, Big Red. I appreciate it. Yeah, Tri-State, they had some good deals going. And they actually canceled in my order... I had canceled or I had ordered some of the black coated blades as well and in the Tonto and they actually canceled my order saying those have been discontinued, but they still had stock. So I've been talk talking with them this week about trying to get those. So, all right. looks like everybody's got their guess in. So Big Red will be throwing up some stop signs and that'll end the, uh, the guessing. Oh, really, Grom? Okay. 
So there's some stop signs. Knife dude still getting his messages flagged on everybody's channels, but we're showing them. It's all good. So let's see here. We have a number of, and I saw a couple that are pretty close. So I got to make sure to go back through and look. Number was 76. So 76 is the number. So we'll go back through and look. See if anybody guessed it right on. I saw a couple close guesses. Holly was trying to, to guess afterwards. <laughs> that's the that's your number times two. Didier and Alcas were just one over, which not gonna count on this round. No 76s yet that I see. 79. I see a 72 from Backpack B. See a 72. See a 73 from Ben. Ben's got a 73. So does anybody beat 73? Let's see here. I'm going to double check the list one more time. If not, then we will declare Ben to be the winner. Okay. Yeah, a lot of you guys were like one over, man, or two over. And I was like, oh, man, that's so close. Awesome. So, yeah, so I see Ben. Congratulations, Ben. You won with a 73. So, Ben, please send me an email, zach.edc at gmail.com, or send me a direct message on Instagram. And let's see here. Um... And then let's see here, we have the F701. So, okay, cool. So I just put those notes down on there so I know exactly what you won. And we'll get this stuff mailed out today, along with everybody else's stuff. Man, we covered a lot of stuff. It seemed like the time flew by today. Okay. And of course, shout out to Big Red. We're gonna throw out some Big Red swag in this week's giveaway swag bag as well as our buddy Slicey Dicey in true fashion. Of course, I buy a knife from him and it slices me first off and it's my fault. So anyways, that's where we're at today. Anybody have any questions or anything before we wrap up? I'm super excited for the Skaha 2 I have coming. And I, I, I mean, I bought the Skaha 2 a while back and I've been on the waiting list for like oof, 18 months or something like that. So I've had that set aside and it's been great. Uh, Didier, I'll, I'll check for your email, buddy. That's awesome. We can get you a, a amazing, amazing hookup there. And uh, yeah, and then that mini freak is pretty cool. So huge shout out to Big Red EDC, of course. My guy running the, the table today. Uh, so Tom, we have a, we have like several post offices that have those automated machines. So we just, we just use that as well. So thanks Mark. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Monster racing. Check out monster racing 38's Instagram as well. Um, he has a fundraiser going, help him out. Definitely. Thanks, John. Thanks paper tiger. Appreciate it. See Lemansky. Thanks Rodney. Appreciate you. And Scott, yes, those are coming. That's actually being finished today. The unlock composites are being built today and the video will be posted. I'll probably shuffle it to the front so you'll probably see the video this week. But yeah, those are being done today. But yeah, this last week with, uh, with you know, um, putting my notice in and my second job and those kind of things, it's a huge thing, so... Huge thing for me to, you know, walk. I, I feel like walking away from it, but it was a good time to do it. So give me, give more time here. Give more more cool content. Be available for more things. Appreciate you guys, definitely. Thanks, one minute. I appreciate that. Jason, Didier, Zenny. 
Evil E, Backpack B, appreciate you. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, CK. Appreciate it, David. Yeah, buddy, Big Red. Got to take care of number one. Thanks, John. And thanks to all, like I said, thanks to all of Zach's Day of the Carry Crew. Thank you guys all for being here. Your guys' support's awesome. Make sure to definitely do something kind for someone. Uh, if you have an opportunity today, this week, anything like that, just do something kind for someone. It doesn't have to be monetary. You know, it could be just holding the door for them, whatever. But it makes a huge, huge difference. And slowly, slowly, we will all be better <laughs> for it. Oh, JJ, thanks, buddy. Oh, thanks, JJ. I appreciate the support, man. That's awesome. Thank you. Definitely. Yeah, I appreciate that. It all goes back into the channel. It goes back into the giveaways. And like I said, keep an eye on that community tab. Um, it's not the easiest to find on YouTube, but there is a community tab. Um, you'll see those coming up this week here in the next day or two. I got to see how my work goes tomorrow. Um, but definitely we'll, we'll do another live and we'll hang out for a few and, and we'll take care of that other business that we need to do. So, all right, you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Have a great week. Most importantly though, take care of yourself. Do something kind for someone. See you there guys. Appreciate it, Grom. Thanks, KJ. Thanks, Boredom Blades. Gary, I think it was like 150. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Last Ranger. Thanks, Grim. Thanks, Klaus. <laughs> Take care, you guys. Gary Cruz, Uncle Cal. See you guys later. Take care, Jason. <laughs>